Hawthrop Lagoon. Come across is up to this little bridge here. It moves a lot, Helen says. Yeah. Family of ducks. As we were visiting the reserve and from Forthrop Lagoon, the train was coming up the track. The train actually was built in 1886. Now it's been restored to take visitors around Portland to show them all the areas that they can visit by local volunteers. That's the woman. A different, different crew, yeah. Come out to Cape Nelson Lighthouse now. <laughs> These houses you can actually hire out for holidays. Views from a lookout heading back towards Portland. As we pan around, you'll see the light earth off in the distance. Here we are at the Surrey River, just near the Narrawong Caravan Park. And you see this is where it goes out to sea. See the sea in the background over there is the sandbar. Portland in the distance there. This is a little lighthouse just outside the unit we're staying in. The view from the veranda. As you can see, it's a pretty good little veranda out the front. tables and chairs, nice clean barbecue, sink. Not a bad outlook. Pity the weather wasn't a bit better. And from inside the unit, The kitchen, down to the bedrooms that way, and the lounge. It's quite a nice bathroom actually. Nice big shower. Toilet. Mm -hmm. 
bedroom and a bedroom next to you, store if you got kids. Here's a wallaby standing looking out to sea, taken from the unit we're staying in. Just looking out from our unit here in Portland and I've spotted a koala in a tree at the back. I'll have to go around and get a better picture of him. There he is in the middle at the moment. Just see his bum. And I just turned around to our, zoom out and turn around to our unit. There's Helen standing over there. On the veranda. Now on the last trip when we got to this point, I usually say ahead of us was four foot lagoon. Well, we couldn't even see it. That was a bit embarrassing, but uh, few people can see it. Ahead of us is Port Lagoon. Over to the left of us and directly ahead of us. 
Welcome to the Goon, guess its name after our first harbour master, Captain James Faulkner. He began a career back in 1853 as our harbour master and was so for some 15 years. Now over here on the left we're travelling along a sealed track. Now, that sealed track goes all the way around the lagoon. I take you about a half. It is not fresh water, it is seawater. this road previously they may have noticed there's a set of traffic lights to stop the traffic. Well that's the idea of them. To stop the traffic so we can travel over the road safely. We actually have lights on all our road crossings but as we have quite a number sitting outside, in fact all of you, you may like to know not every car stops. This road is notorious. This is how they unload the wood chip off the trucks. Put a truck on a hoist and hoist up in the air. be empty they're lowering it down. Here we're heading towards Cape Bridgewater and the petrified forest and the blowholes. Standing here looking at the wind turbines from down on the ground. We're at Bridgewater at the moment. We're going to go and see the blowholes probably. Well, we're down at the blowholes at the moment, but the sea isn't rough enough, I don't think, to create any. Can hear a, fi a vague noise. walk down to the petrified forest. We'll go on from here and see if we can find some seals.
You mean where the hollow is? Oh, the wood. This is the last little bit of the petrified forest. We'll now go up the hill over here. This area was called the Petrified Forest. The name comes from an early theory that advancing sand engulfed an ancient forest of coastal trees, petrifying them for all time. Although an appealing idea, the tree is equally fascinating. The formation is actually a collection of hollow tubes of limestone called solution pipes, eroded by millions of years of rainfall. The process starts when water gathers in a shallow pan of sand and seeps downward, dissolving the limestone. The mineral saturated water then cements the sand, forming a hard trunk like pipes. Most pipes around Cape Bridgewater are 1 to 3 metres high, although some are as high as 20 metres. Many good examples can be seen along the walking track. If you've come this, this far, thanks for watching.